Instead, I needed to literally like bang my head on the wall, struggle, 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 debug. If I knew that before, I would have encouraged myself to acquire that skill a little earlier on. You know, there is this big stereotype around, oh, if you're a software engineer, you're just sitting somewhere in a corner. Imposter syndrome hit me personally really quickly. So imposter syndrome is definitely 100% real. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and in this video today I would love to tell you more about things that I wish I knew before I became a software engineer so stay tuned Something that I definitely wish I knew before I became a software engineer is that switch in the mindset around failure and embracing struggle. As a chemical engineer, because I studied chemical engineering in university, of course problem solving was super important, but a lot of the times it was also about the knowledge that you acquired around, you know, knowing certain laws, knowing certain processes, and being able to really apply a formula to a problem and get further with it. Most of the times you don't really have a formula that you can apply to solve a problem, so you really need to be okay with failure, be okay with having to struggle for a while and failing fast and then learning from it. So that is something that I wish I developed a bit earlier on before I became a software engineer because in my first year as an engineer, especially as an intern also, when I when I started doing internships, I um, was a lot of the times kind of looking for that perfect formula that would solve my problems, but it just didn't exist. And instead I needed to literally like bang my head on the wall, struggle, 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 debug really try to get down to the deep end of the problem to really understand it before you know moving on and finding a solution and if I knew that before I would have encouraged myself to acquire that skill a little earlier on so if you're just becoming a software engineer or you just started or you're thinking of embarking on this career path, I would definitely embrace that mindset of failing fast and learning from your mistakes super early on. Another thing that I wish I knew earlier, or rather I wish that I was aware of earlier and I was okay with earlier, is the fact that you might feel like an imposter. You know, especially when I started my career as a software engineer full-time, you know, as an intern, it's very different. You're only there for usually four months at a time it's just a different mindset a different expectation but when you're out and about in the full-time real world imposter syndrome hit me personally really quickly one I didn't study software engineering or computer science in university I had a chemical engineering degree two I immediately got paired up with someone who was of the same age as me just out of school and they were just so much faster so much better it seemed to me they were so much better at everything than I was that the comparison was just inevitable. I constantly compared myself to uh, my like partner that I worked with on a project. I constantly compared myself to others and I actually was feeling pretty bad at that point of time because I really thought that, you know, maybe software engineering is not for me. I'm not as good as so many other people. A lot of people coded since they were like seven years old or five years old or whatever and I didn't even study this at school and I just felt kind of unqualified for the job. I was like, why am I even hired? Like, why am I here? But in reality, you know, imposter syndrome is so common in the tech industry, especially amongst, I don't want to say especially amongst women because I don't want to single out the gender, but I just know that it's very common with all the gender stereotypes because as women, especially considering how um, male dominated the industry is and there are certain male skills that are being elevated, you just feel like, oh, I don't have this or this doesn't come naturally to me and you start just feeling bad about yourself and you start feeling unqualified for me personally I dealt with it by really you know encouraging myself mentally and internally and thinking that you know I was hired for a reason and uh, 
people around me do think that I'm good and I need to think about the same thing about myself. And I had a really good circle of friends and people who would also talk to me and encourage me and that really helped me get over my imposter. But even now, I still sometimes face the same kind of mindset and problem of, oh, I don't know as much as this other person does or maybe this specific field I should have studied more deeply. And again, that's totally normal. So what I wish I knew again is that I would feel this way so that I could be mentally prepared for how to deal with it. So imposter syndrome is definitely 100% real. And then last but not least, I also want to say that I wish I knew how collaborative software engineering was. You know, there is this big stereotype around, oh, if you're a software engineer, you're just sitting somewhere in a corner. You're not talking to any people. You're just there coding really quietly. And like most of your day is just lonely. But in reality, the role of a software engineer is extremely collaborative because you're constantly interacting with designers, with product managers. And at the end of the day with other engineers too because in the end of the day you're probably not going to be the only person on the project not the only person on the team and you constantly need to you know bounce ideas off of other people and in my other videos around lessons that I learned as a software engineer I'm talking also about project management and the software skills of being a software engineer and that's def definitely a huge part that I feel like people don't really get exposed to while they're in school or while they're fantasizing about you know what a role of a programmer in a company is and in reality it is a super collaborative role yes maybe it's not as social as being I don't know a marketing manager or as being a product manager even but you still have to have good soft skills good communication skills great collaboration skills because you are going to be interacting with a lot of people yeah those I would say are the main things that I wish I knew before I became a software engineer, but now you guys know what it's like from my experience and I hope it's useful and valuable. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, don't forget to give it a like. And I want you guys to comment down below to let me know what are some things that you wished you knew before entering your career, whether it be a software engineer or something else. I'm always reading comments and I'm super curious what you guys have to say. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye for now.